Hello friends, in this video let us discuss about the load sharing between two transformers operating in parallel. So the definition of parallel operation is the transformers, the primaries of the transformers are connected to the same source bus, they are connected to the same source bus whereas the secondaries of the two transformers are connected to the same load. So when these two conditions are met, you can say the two transformers are operating in parallel. So basically the load sharing between two transformers can be discussed from two conditions. So one is the equal voltage ratio and the other one is the unequal voltage ratio. So let us first discuss about this equal voltage ratio. So if the two transformers are having equal voltage ratio and uh, voltages are in phase then the two transformers can be uh, then the two that is the primary side and the secondary side can be connected to be operated in parallel and no current will flow no current will flow during the no load condition during the no load condition and if they are of unequal voltage ratio they will be having a large circulating current in a secondary and primary and that current will be very high than the no load current as the leakage impedance on load decreases. So you will be having a high value of circulating current but here you do not have the no current on no load as they are having the equal voltage ratio. So the if I draw the equivalent circuit diagram by neglecting the magnetizing admittance, I am neglecting the magnetizing admittance and uh, I am drawing the equivalent circuit diagram for the equal voltage ratio condition. So let me say here I am having the resistance, total resistance and uh, total reactance of the two transformers by neglecting, by neglecting the magnetizing admittance. So here I am having my load circuit and uh, this is my voltage V2 and let me say this is my induced EMF E2. So this is basically the here I am having the current IA and this is the current IB and this is my RA, this is XA. A is the first transformer whereas here RB total resistance of the transformer B and the total reactance of the transformer B. So here I am having the total current again Z. So this is E2 and here is V2. This is the equivalent circuit for the equal voltage ratio with uh, neglecting the magnetizing admittance. So let us now draw the phasor diagram for this equivalent circuit and let us understand the voltage equations for these uh, transformers operating in parallel. So if I draw the phasor diagram, so here this will be my V2 and uh, your IA will be lagging so with some angle you can say phi A and uh, here I am having the IB current and uh, the total current will be the phasor sum of these two currents this is my I. Now here I am having the uh, this is my IB into RB and uh, perpendicular to it I am having the IB and this is my XB. Now similarly for the transformer A, this is my IA RA and uh, this will be my IB XB and uh, here you will be having your E2 and this E2 will be equal to EA equal to EB and uh, if I draw like this, this will be IA ZA is equal to IB ZB. So this is the phasor diagram. Now let us obtain the voltage equations from this phasor diagram for the load sharing between two transformers operating in parallel. So from here I can write my E2, the voltage E2 is equal to V2 plus IA ZA because IA ZA plus this voltage V2 this is nothing but your total ZA and this is nothing but ZB 
So from here I have written this V2 plus IA ZA gives me E2 and again I can write E2 is equal to V2 plus IB ZB. From the phase diagram itself, this is V2 plus IA ZA for one E2 equation or you can say this is my EA, this is my EB and which are equal to E2. Simple. And from there, from these two equations, I can equalize both of them. E2 is equal to E2 and V2, V2 will be get cancelled and therefore I am having IA ZA is equal to IB ZB. That means I can write IA IB will be equal to ZB by ZA. So from this we can draw a inference. So when the voltage ratios are equal, the impedances, the equivalent impedances are inversely proportional to their current rating and this current is directly proportional to the KVA. So this is direct, the currents are directly proportional to their KVA rating and uh, indirectly the per unit impedance or the equivalent impedance will be indirectly proportional to their KVA ratings and uh, you can write here IAZA, IBZB is also equal to I into the total equivalent impedance ZAB. Z, this is A, this is B. So ZAB in this form you can write it. Now your ZAB can be given as, ZAB can be given as the ZA, ZB upon ZA plus ZB. This is your ZAB. So now from here I can write my IA will be equal to I into, this is the total current I as we have mentioned here, ZAB by ZA. So this is my total, total current, uh, this is the IA, the IA value of current for one transformer and similarly you can write your IB is equal to IZAB by ZB. Now let me multiply the common voltage V2 on both sides of the equation. So V2 into IA, this will be V2 into I. Now the load shared by the transformer A is given by V2 IA into 10 to the power of minus 10 kVA. So this is basically the load shared by the transformer A. So to get that load, I can multiply this V2 I I am multiplying with 10 to the power of minus 3 on both sides. This will be V2 I into 10 to the power of minus 3 into ZAB by ZA and this term is nothing but your total load S. I am indicating with S and let me indicate the load shared by the transformer A is SA. So basically your SA will be equal to S into ZAB by ZA and similarly you can write your SB will be equal to S into ZAB by ZB. So this is basically the load shared by the transformer B and this is the load shared by the transformer A and where S is the total load and if you are given the impedances ZA and ZB which are the total which you can say the equivalent impedance of the transformer A, ZA and the equivalent impedance of the transformer B is ZB referred to the secondary side. So you can say they are given in the per unit or the percentages for the different KVA transformers then you have to convert them to the common base KVA. So you have to convert the uh, impedance values to the common base, uh, common base KVA then you can go for the calculations. Now let us see for the, let us see the voltage equations and the load shade for the unequal voltage ratios. So when we are having the unequal voltage ratio of the two transformers then there will be the differences in the second induced secondary EMFs and due to these differences in the secondary EMFs we will be having a circulating current and if the two transformers share a common load this circulating current so superimpose on the load current and uh, they will cause the unequal load sharing on the two transformers. So if you want to see the circulating current, so the direction of circulating current, so basically in the primary, 
you will be witnessing so here you are having the circulating currents in the primary so these are the circulating currents in the primary and similarly in the secondary winding you will be having the circulating current like so like this so in this way you are having the circulating currents in the secondary and these circulating currents can be due to the difference in the polarity or the unequal voltage ratios so these are your circulating circulating currents and uh, this is your impedance that is a total equivalent impedance referred to the secondary zb and this is your za total equivalent impedance referred to the secondary and uh, here you are having the common load shared by the two transformers and this is your source and uh, here you are having the secondary emf ea and this is your eb and this is the voltage v1 this is your voltage v2 and this is generally the load bus now let us see the uh, voltage equations so for the voltage if i say the voltage ratio of transformer a is ka and the voltage ratio of transformer b is kb so this is my ra this is xa this is rb xp and this is my v2 this is my load and here i am having the p2 now your equations ea ea is nothing but your ea is nothing but ka into va this will be equal to ia za plus v2 and uh, your vb is equal to kb into v1 this is v1 sorry here it is v1 as k and kb are the voltage ratios of corresponding transformer a and b and v1 is the supplied voltage so ea is equal to ka into v1 eb is equal to kb into v1 this will be equal to ib zb plus v2 now i is the current flowing through this load so you can write v2 is equal to i into zl zl is a load and i, I you can write this i is the summation of the current ia and this is ib so this is nothing but ia plus ib into zl so let us now plug this here so after plugging the voltage is ea and the eb ea is equal to ia za plus ia plus ib into zl similarly your eb will be equal to ib zb plus ia plus ib into zl now let us subtract the eb from ea let us subtract eb from ea so after subtraction ea minus eb will be equal to these two terms will get cancelled so i am having the ia za minus ib zb so from here i can have my ia will be equal to ea minus eb plus ib zb upon za so this is my equation for ia now let us plug this ia equation in this equation of eb so i can split it here ia into zl ib into zl so instead of ia in the place of ia i have to write this equation so your eb will be equal to ib zb plus instead of ia i am writing ea minus ea minus this is eb plus ib zb 
upon Z A this whole term into Z L plus Z L into I B. So now let us take the I B E term common. So if I take I B common here, so I will get Z B plus Z L plus here I B if I take common it is Z B Z L upon Z A. So this term has gone and this term has gone, this term has gone. So I am left with E B E B minus E A minus E B into Z L by Z A. So this is the equation after taking IB common from these right handed side terms. So now I am multiplying this ZA here. So this is ZA. Now here also let me take this is ZA and ZA, ZA multiply and divide with ZA. So thereby I can cancel this ZA, 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 ZA here. And now I can find the value of my IB. Your IB will be given by EB into ZA minus EA minus EB into ZL upon these three terms ZA, ZB plus ZA, ZL plus ZB, ZL. Now from the symmetry your IA current IA will be given by replacing this only term. So I, I can write there I EA into ZB and the remaining terms will remain same and this will be EA minus EB into ZL upon ZA, ZB plus ZA, ZL plus ZB, ZL. So this is the current IA and this is current IB from the two transformers we are getting which is combined to I which is I is nothing but IA plus IB and uh, the circulating current indicated by IC can be given by IC is equal to EA minus EB upon ZA plus ZB. So this is how you find the currents being shared by the two transformers when operating in parallel for the condition unequal voltage ratios. So I hope you understood well how we have uh, solved the voltage equations for the two cases equal voltage ratio and unequal voltage ratio. So please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.